Hey guys, Alberto here. Welcome to uh, a bunch of FGO videos we're gonna do. These will probably do like maybe a video every other day. Probably gonna last the two weeks up until uh, probably almost the summer too. And I didn't expect summer two to be coming this soon. Um, and by this soon, I meant like late July, early August. I thought it was gonna be more towards the middle. Anyway, so we're going to do a bunch of the memorial quests from the second anniversary. We're going to tr try to do each one in a video because I honestly, they're probably really tough bosses and I don't know how much uh, we're going to get. So we're going to go ahead, grab a Merlin, like most people do, as soon as I can find Merlin. Actually, we really don't need Bond stuff, right? So uh, that's not the right team. That's the right team. So we, I really don't care what's going to happen to the back line. The main concern is the, um, what's it called, the front line, because this is going to be our most damage. And you're probably going to be familiar with this lineup, because this is the main lineup. Um, honestly, the only thing I would change about this team if Waver was another Merlin, but uh, we're not that good, especially from the GSSR, and I still have to edit that video, because I went on an entire rant, and I probably should, uh, yeah, I probably should upload it, so... Today we're going to be fighting Altera from the, I think this is the, oh god, I think this is the second singularity with Nero, Septum, that's what it's called, Septum. So it's, I think it's technically the first singularity that we, we take in part of, story-wise, we don't count Fuyuki. Um, wow. Uh, we heard just one Buster card short, so we're going to go ahead and just stall for, I guess, another turn or so. Go ahead and just defense up. Uh, would be nice if I had some music, but I feel like I, uh, to prevent, like, copyright and stuff, I just want to talk to you guys, um, and talk about, like, kind of my thought process, because that's something I don't really do about in streams, is I just press buttons. And so, actually, you know what? Just so I don't keep looking down at my phone, I'm actually going to use my mouse for this. Uh, let's just do as much damage as possible. And cool, my mouse doesn't show up on recording, so that's neat. I, I don't think uh, it ever showed up when I tried it, even on stream, but um, might be a little bit easier so I don't just keep looking down at my phone, right? Hmm. Oh, wow. So what we can do here, there's a couple things we can do. I can go ahead, because next turn we're going to have two Buster cards. Uh, guaranteed. Because we only had one Buster card from that, and it shuffles every two turns that's something i don't think a lot of people think about uh that's something i think about with ku alter especially in the lineup just because it's one of those things where he's really good and doing damage and the max out his damage capabilities you want to have uh two buster cards after his initial noble phantasm so i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and do unreturning formation and i'm, I'm feel like i'm talking like in a tcg video right where i'm explaining the combo how it works um, like here, here, here's a link three megaclops, right? Megaclops, yeah. Infinite track, fortress, megaclops. Yeah, I'm just kind of. I never really get to like talk about my thought process. Usually, I'm just like chilling in chat with chat and talking about random via stuff and conversation. So there's our two Buster cards that we talked about. So this is where we go ahead and puff, bu just continuously buff Ku Alter. We'll get his um the Buster up on him now. And if this is not death, this is close to death. So we're just going to go ahead and look. I have the golden sumo uh, up. I need to invest in more craft essence bombs, honestly, so I can level these up. That's probably the one thing I probably should have been doing all this time. But the only thing that would make this uh, better if is if we have like a 20-30 on Merlin or something like that. That's fine. Uh, just so we can get some sort of crit absorption because that would max out the damage exponentially but needless to say this should still be a lot of damage especially with the defense down this should be actually almost like death for altera that was how much that was half of our health that's 200 health so oh yeah we did get some crits off that sweet and we did I, I didn't actually expect it to be that quick. That that crit that happened at the last second was wild. I'm getting a decent amount of bond, a thousand bond. We really want to focus on getting uh, Ku Alter's uh, 
bond anyway. Especially since I'm not using him right now because of, you know, all female singularity Agatha, which I probably should finish before summer too, right? I'm pretty sure we also get 10 uh, stuff for that as well. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and use that ticket because uh, honestly, I don't believe any, uh, since it's only one spin, I don't really like put too much faith in the tickets nowadays. I used to. But uh, not anymore. And uh, Altera, Alteria, whatever, is on rate up. So I guess neat. Uh, we'll do one more t uh, friend point ten spin just because we have a hundred thousand now due to the second anniversary logins. Plus, I'm pretty sure we get a bunch of tickets anyway. Uh, beforehand. Plus, I'll probably save the ones from the summer one rerun. I don't like I said. I don't expect this to these tickets to be any good. That's why, hence why I'm just using them now. And we get necromancy, probably one of my least favorite, and I've only heard like one use of that four star craft essence. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and leave a like down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I know I just said that, but I need to repeat myself because that's just who I am. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next Memorial Quest video. Whoop, I disappeared for a second. There we go.